Joining me now is Republican Congressman from Georgia, Tom Price, uh, who is also a doctor, by the way. And along uh, with him is a Democratic Congressman from Pennsylvania, Shaka Fatah. Congressman Fatah, let me begin with you. Uh, President Obama, Harry Reid, Nancy Pelosi have all said that under the Senate bill, taxpayer dollars will not be used for abortion. You just heard what Henry Waxman said, uh, according to Bart Stupak, is who's telling the truth here? Well, I think the truth is we're going to hear at least one big lie a day trying to distract people from what actually is in the bill. This bill is going to help 30 plus million Americans get insurance with once it's signed this year. Was Waxman it's going to help telling thousands. the truth? Taxpayer dollars well, will you, be used to fund abortions. It, Was Waxman confessing the truth to Bart Greg, Stupak? It's a distraction. It's a distraction. The Stupak is not for the bill. And a lot of people on this network are not for the bill. Let's deal with the truth, though. The truth is it's going to help a lot of people, millions of Americans, none of which have y'all taken the time to go out and cover the people who can't get insurance. They're going Will to be the able to Senate be covered bill immediately pay for under this bill. Will the Senate bill pay the, the for bill, abortions? The bill, the bill says very clearly what the facts are. People can read it for themselves. And what was Henry the Waxman law, saying? Well, the federal law is not going to be changed on abortion. And as much as you try to distract people onto that road, it's not what we me. need to talk about. I, it's not me. It it's is. Henry Waxman and Bart Stupak and <laughs> Congressman Price. I want you to weigh in. Well, why don't Does you tell your viewers Senate what Henry Waxman said? Have taxpayers Army. pay for abortions, yes or no? There are plenty of pro-life yeah, Democrats that. who are going to vote for this bill. Congressman All Price. Right? The, the, the Senate bill includes uh, federal funds for abortion, and Bart Stupak, far be it from me to defend him as he's a Democrat on the other side, but he voted for this bill initially when it came through the House because of the 240 to 190 vote that stipulated that current law had to be continued, and that is that no federal funds would be used for abortion. But it's not just abortion. It's abortion, and it's the, it's the Cornhusker kickback. It's the Louisiana Purchase. It's the federal Gatorade. Uh, it's the increase in taxes. It's the slashes to Medicare. Yeah. The American people have spoken loudly that they well, don't want this bill. Well, who's lying here, then? That's why they got to go Nancy through all Pelosi, these Is it Nancy Pelosi, Harry Reid, uh, President Obama? Is it, is it Bart Stupak? I mean, I'm trying to figure this out, and I think our viewers probably are, too, Congressman Price. Well, that, you're right. And the viewers, the American people are so frustrated because they get different stories that don't comport with the truth. <clears throat> the truth of the matter is all those things are in this bill. And that's why the American people, two and three to one, have said they don't want it. So they've got to come through these incredible contortions to, to try to pass this bill. The American people have spoken clearly. They want patients and families and doctors to make medical decisions. This bill won't We're not going to try to pass it. We're not going to try to pass it. We're going to pass it this week. And we're finally going to join the rest of the industrialized world in making sure that our citizens yeah, the people have damned. access to health care. Yeah. Congressman sure Price, um, right. Congressman Price uh, Ray LaHood, a lifelong Republican transportation secretary, says that it is morally reprehensible that 40 million Americans do not have health care. Is he right? Well, 40 million Americans do have health care. They don't have health care coverage, and that's what we need to get them. But we want them, Republicans want them to get the health coverage that they want for themselves and their family, not that the government wants for them. That's the difference. The question is, who's <coughs> going to be deciding? Who's going to be making medical decisions? We believe it ought to be patients and families and doctors. Well, Greg, I the think Democrats I... believe that it ought to be the federal government. Congressman Fata? Well, Greg, I think you can see it. To the Republican Party and my colleagues who are Republican, these people who don't have coverage, they're, they, they, they're invisible. They don't see them. And that's why they lack any willingness to come to the table and move a health care reform bill. But we're going to get it done. We're going to get it yeah. done this week. And we've been working at this as a country for 100 plus years. But it's going to be accomplished. And it's going to be accomplished HR with Democrats but, uh... standing up to make sure that it happens. Go ahead, Congressman Price. Hey. H.R. 3400 is a positive solution to get the American people covered, again, with the kind of coverage that they want for themselves and their families, not well, that the government wants for them. Uh, again, I come back to Ray LaHood. He's a Republican. He's yeah. well-respected within the GOP party. And in an op-ed piece, he says not only is it morally reprehensible that 40 million Americans don't have health care coverage, he says that this existing bill, if passed, would reduce the deficit by one trillion over the next two decades. It would reduce waste and fraud. It is fiscally responsible. Now, you're a doctor, Congressman Price. Is Ray right. LaHood wrong? 
I believe he's wrong because the way that they get to their fiscal responsibility is to increase taxes by $500 billion and to slash Medicare by $500 billion. That's not what you have to do because there are positive solutions out there that will get folks covered, that will solve the insurance challenges and address the lawsuit abuse that this bill doesn't do and not do it with all the bribes and the kickbacks that they've had yeah. in the Senate bill that the House folks are going to have to vote on. There are positive ways to solve this without putting the government in charge. Congressman Fata, uh, maybe Ray Le Hood's just carrying uh, the water bucket for his boss, the president. Well, maybe so, but if you take a Fox commentator like Newt Gingrich, my friend who was the former speaker, he says you could cut $700 billion out of Medicare in any given year. There's so much fraud and waste. And now, he's not... He's not shelling for his boss at Fox News. He's telling the truth, that we know there's waste in this system. We also know that it is morally uh, yeah. wrong for us to have Congressman so Fata, many millions Let me slip in one more question insurance. to you. Um, would you agree we've done an abysmal job running Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security, all of which are heading toward bankruptcy? What makes you think that we can do a better job with basically, you know, health care for all. Well, you just heard my colleague, Dr. Price, say that Medicare was so sacred, so important, we can't cut a dime from it, um, you know, that it's helping so many millions of seniors. We're not going to cut Medicare. What we're cutting is a corporate subsidy on the Medicare Advantage, and we're not eliminating it. We're just saying they have to produce their services at the same rate that the government does, and we know the private sector is capable of doing that. Congressman Price, I want you to get in the last word, but address, if you will, yeah. how entitlement programs... Uh, have been abysmally run in the United States. Oh. Is the, maybe this oh. one will be different. No, it can't be. All of the four medical programs that the federal government runs, Medicare, Medicaid, the VA Health Service, and the Indian Health Service, all have overrun their costs and they ration care. And if this passes, that's exactly what this will do. The way that they save money is by rationing care to seniors. That's wrong, and the American people won't stand for it. Well, it does have some Republican well, ideas in it, Congressman Price. Uh, interstate sales, which would arguably lower, you know, the cost of premium, pooling premiums, uh, you know, among businesses. Aren't those good ideas in this bill? You're right, Greg. It's got the heading of interstate sales. The problem is all you can buy is the program, the coverage that the government says is going to be available for you, not the one that you want for yourself and right. for your family. Well, and that's the well, rub. Look, Greg, we Who's saw, going to be we, making we these saw decisions? The Texas, is it going to be families and we, patients and doctors? Or is it going to be the federal last government? Word. We saw the Texas uh, textbook vote. You know, after everybody had their say, there was a vote, right? You're going to see another vote this week, and there's going to be a different result. That is, the people are going to win. And we're going to make sure that there's health care reform in this country right now. We'll wait and I hope see. We vote thank on the you. bill. Congressman Fata, Congressman Price, thank you both for being with us. It's going to be a fascinating week. We'll see it unfold. Thank you. Thank you.